What's up guys, Firewolf here, unboxing and setting up the new ROG Swift OLED PG49WCD monitor. That was a mouthful. This monitor features a 49 inch curved QD OLED with a resolution of 5120 by 1440. You also get a fast 144Hz refresh rate, a super low 0.03 millisecond response time, and it's NVIDIA G-Sync compatible for some smooth gaming. Right out the box, we get a nice accessory pouch, which I'll show you what's inside later. Next up is the bottom feet of the stand, which feels sturdy and has a unique and cool triangular pattern. I'm happy about the wingtip screw, which will be easier to set up. Here's the VESA mount adapter in case you want to mount it on a monitor arm to free up some space, which I'll definitely show you guys later. And here's a stand in a nice dark gray with glossy black accents. I'm really loving the design of this stand. It really gives you a gamer vibe. There's also a quarter inch thread so you can attach a wide range of accessories like lighting or a camera. All right, let's carefully unwrap the back so we can get it out of this box. Installing the stand is very easy and requires no tools. All we have to do is angle the stand in the middle and you'll hear a loud click. Then we grab the feet and line it up. Using the wingtip screw, just screw it in with your hand, and now we're ready for liftoff. Thankfully, the whole monitor isn't too heavy, which weighs about 25 pounds. Taking off the plastic, and I have to say the design of this monitor is fire. Asus calls this a futuristic, cyberpunk-inspired aesthetic. Let me know what you guys think about the design in the comments, but to me, it looks really good. The huge ROG logo does light up, which you can customize in the settings, but it's honestly not strong enough to really make that much of a difference. ASUS really delivered on the input selection. We get a DisplayPort 1.4 port, one HDMI 2.1 port, and a USB-C port that delivers 90 watts of power and video, which is an amazing feature to have on this monitor. Next, we have a USB upstream port with two USB-A ports next to it, with one being USB 3.2 Gen 1 and the other USB being 2.0. They also added another USB 2.0 port on the top of the monitor, and at the bottom, they also added another, but this one being USB 3.2, right next to the 3.5mm headphone jack. If that wasn't enough, this USB hub can act as a smart KVM switch, and I'm really happy with the inputs we get with this monitor. Before I reveal the screen, let's look into what we get inside this accessory pouch. First off, this pouch is very nice and premium and it's something I would definitely use to store my cables in. Inside we get a VIP member notice, some cool looking ROG stickers, a user manual, and a factory color calibration testing report, which is awesome. For cables, we get a DisplayPort cable, and I have to say, I'm really impressed with the attention to detail they put into these cables. Next up is a USB-C cable, which will supply both power and video, an HDMI 2.1 cable, and finally, a USB upstream cable. The last thing in the pouch is the power adapter, which plugs straight into the monitor. It looks like the power brick is integrated inside the monitor itself. All right, now it's time to reveal the screen of the ROG Swift OLED monitor, and I wanna thank you for sticking through this unboxing video. The screen is beautiful, which features an anti-reflective coating, which gives off a semi-gloss look. The bezels are super thin, while the bottom has a nice dark gray color with the ROG logo right in the middle. The stand features a good amount of height adjustment, swivel, and tilt, but no pivot, which is understandable given the super ultra-wide stance. I like that the bottom feet doesn't stick out too much, and the way the monitor swivels with the stand is a cool touch. Pushing it all the way back, and this stand doesn't take up that much space. You can route all the cables in the middle of the stand for a cleaner look. I connected the power adapter, display port, HDMI, USB-C, and USB option cable, and they all fit nicely in between. I was also able to connect my keyboard to the monitor, which works perfectly. I have a Vivo height adjustable desk, which measures 71 by 30, and I really like how the monitor feet stays closer to the actual monitor. If you have a soundboard like I do, you won't be able to position it in the middle, but don't worry, I'll show you guys how to mount it to a monitor arm. This OLED display looks amazing. Lately, I've been reviewing monitors with VA panels, IPS panels, and going back to OLED just reminds me how much I love the display technology despite the cons it brings. The first thing I noticed is how bright this display gets compared to other OLED monitors I've tried in the past. ASUS really improves this monitor with its custom heatsink, which keeps this monitor running more efficiently and cooler. This 49 inch OLED display uses next gen QD OLED panels, which improves the sub pixel layout issues that early QD OLED monitors had. 
I notice a huge improvement and is almost unnoticeable. You get a slight 1800R curvature, which for me is honestly fine since I can comfortably view each corner with a subtle head movement. Gaming on this monitor so far is an incredible experience. You get a resolution of 5120 by 1440, which isn't too demanding compared to 4K. And while the 144Hz refresh rate seems low compared to other 240Hz OLED monitors, at least this monitor is NVIDIA G-Sync compatible, which is good news for NVIDIA graphics users. You also have AMD FreeSync Premium Pro. The response time is super fast. 0.03 milliseconds is awesome, especially when you're playing action-packed games. And I'll be giving a full review video on this monitor, so make sure you subscribe. While this monitor stand is great, I prefer using a monitor arm to maximize your desk space. To install a monitor arm or have it wall mounted, you first need to use the included recent mount adapter, which will give you the standard 100 by 100 millimeter screw holes. I had trouble trying to fit in the adapter, but I realized you had to hold the latch on the monitor to allow the adapter to fall into place. Once you have it secured, you can take your recent mount from your monitor arm and screw it in place. I'm currently using the Ergotron HX monitor arm, which is a premium and pricey stand. You can definitely use a more budget friendly monitor arm, just make sure it supports the weight of this monitor which is only 18.74 pounds. Now that I have it on a monitor arm, I now have way more space and it looks way better in my opinion. It allows you to even put a portable monitor underneath for a stack setup. The monitor that I'm using is the Uperfect 4K OLED monitor, which pairs beautifully with the ROG Swift OLED. Let me know what you guys think about this OLED monitor as I prepare a full in-depth review in the next couple of weeks since I really need the time to test it out. If you are interested in getting this monitor or the many tech that you've seen in this video, I will have affiliate links down below which also helps and supports the Firewolf Tech channel. I want to thank you for sticking to the end of this video and would also like to know your thoughts and feedback in the comment sections below. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I would love your support with a like, share, and subscribe. Firewolf out.